Hello, my name is Andrew Kaunitz, Professor and Associate Chair in the OBGYN Department, University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. Today, I'd like to discuss progestin-releasing IUDs and ectopic pregnancies. The end of Roe underscores the importance of highly effective contraceptives, including progestin-releasing IUDs. Although few pregnancies of any type occur in women using these IUDs, when they do occur, the likelihood of an ectopic pregnancy, or EP, is increased. Full disclosure, my department receives research funding from Bayer, manufacturer of progestin IUDs, to support a clinical trial of an investigational medication for treatment of menopausal symptoms. In this video, I use brand names for clarity. In the July issue of ACOG's Green Journal, investigators in Stockholm assessed the one-year incidence of EP in women using full-size as well as smaller levonorgestrel or LNG IUDs. Morena, a full-size IUD with 52 milligrams of progestin, is now approved by the FDA for up to seven years of use. Lyleta, an essentially identical IUD, also contains 52 milligrams of LNG. Kylina, a smaller frame IUD, contains 19.5 milligrams of progestin and is approved for up to five years of use. Skyla, a second smaller frame IUD with 13.5 milligrams of progestin is approved for up to three years of use. The one year overall pregnancy rates for these highly effective devices range from 0.2 to 0.4%. The Stockholm investigators found that one year EP rates during use of these devices range from 1 in 10,000 to 1 in 1,000, with Mirena having the lowest rate of EPs. In the great majority of my Paris patients choosing progestin IUDs, I place Mirenas due to their high efficacy for contraception, predictable menstrual suppression, and long duration of action. In some of my adolescent nulliparous patients, after shared decision-making, I place Kylinas due to the smaller size of this IUD. Occasionally, in women who have mood disorders with sensitivity to progestins, but who would like to use a progestin IUD, I place Skylas as these release lower amounts of progestin than Mirena or Kylina. Compared with women using no contraception or those using other reversible methods, the absolute risk of EP is lower in women using progestin IUDs. Nonetheless, women opting for IUD placement should understand that in the unlikely event that they become pregnant, the risk of an EP is elevated and timely evaluation, including vaginal ultrasound and assessment of quantitative HCG levels is appropriate. The bottom line is that IUDs offer women highly effective contraception, an attribute more important than ever in the current post-Roe environment we practice in. I'm Andrew Kaunitz. Please take care of yourself and each other.